Hi my loves, it's Lucid Simmer and welcome back to another episode of the Lucid Legacy Challenge. A challenge for the Sims that I created and if you would like to check out the rules, they will be linked in the description below. I am so excited to get in today's episode. We are going to be celebrating Faye and Silas's first anniversary as well as our first Finchwick Fair, so there's a lot of exciting things happening. A couple things that I do want to clarify before getting into this episode. In the last episode, we did start employing Miles as a farm worker for us, and it was pointed out to me in the comments that Miles did autonomously harvest some of our crops so that they would be in his inventory, and I did actually realize it, but I didn't mention it in last episode, so I do know about that, and moving forward, I will have Silas take care of all of the grown crops before Miles gets to our lot. So thank you to everyone who pointed that out. Another thing is I did want to clarify Maurice's name. Of course, the Barnes family, who we now know, did have a new child in the last episode, and we did change her name to start with an L, like the rest or everyone except for Maurice and their family, which I did go back and forth at first on whether I wanted to change Maurice's name or not, because I didn't want him to be excluded at all, but the reason I decided to keep his name as Maurice is because he was actually adopted into that family between episode one and two, so he was adopted as a child and he hasn't been with them for too long. For that reason, I did just decide to keep his name as it was, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I didn't want anyone to think that I was purposely just excluding him, but yeah. Yeah, I think with that being said, let's jump right into today's episode. I did want to start with this cute little shot of Pumpkin sleeping in her bed right next to Faye and Silas, and you guys absolutely loved Pumpkin in the last episode. And yeah, I honestly think that she is such a perfect addition to this family, and I'm actually glad that we got a dog before having kids, I think after, which is what I usually do, would just cause way too much chaos. So yeah, she is the first first baby of the family. So it is the morning of their anniversary, as I said, and the activities, I guess, for their anniversary that I added are to give flowers and romantic spirit. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually have Silas get up a little bit early, go pick some flowers, and also cook a little breakfast for him and Faye so that she can wake up to flowers and breakfast on their anniversary. So so we are going to get him up now. Oh my gosh, the way she just kissed him on the head was so cute. So we're gonna let Faye sleep in and I'm actually just realizing the only flowers we have on our lots are these bluebells but they're actually not blooming right now so let's take a look in the area and see if there are any wild flowers that we can pick. All right, it doesn't look like there's anything around, so I'm just gonna have him cook breakfast and buy a flower on his phone. All right, I think I'm gonna do some French toast because we actually haven't had them make that yet, and it is one of the higher skilled dishes, so I feel like he can impress her with the breakfast this morning. And we are also, like I said, going to get her a flower. So we could do tulip, rose, or a daisy and I feel like the daisy is the most fey out of all of the flowers. I feel like roses would be a little too fancy for her. I think that, I don't know, daisies just match her vibe to me so I'm gonna get her a daisy. And you guys know by now that I love <laughs> watching my sims cook. Oh and it sounds like pumpkin. Oh no she does have food. What's up, girl? What do you need? I think she just wants some attention. <laughs> All right, let's give Pumpkin some pets. And 
Actually, I think I'm going to move this little bread box. I know I mentioned that before. I always love cluttering up counters when I'm decorating, but then when I'm playing, I just want everything gone. <laughs> so we'll get rid of those. And we are going to kind of display the breakfast and flour so that when Faye comes in, she will see this all ready for her. All right, and Faye is now up, so we get to see her come in. Oh, and greet Silas. Oh, I love them so much. And let's actually go ahead and put this flower back in his inventory so we can give it to her as a gift. Oh my gosh, stop. We can specifically give a wedding anniversary gift. That is so cute. All right, I don't know why they came in here to do gifts, but... Oh, he is. Aww. <laughs> oh, and she likes it. <gasps> oh my gosh, stop. Oh, that was so sweet. So Faye just autonomously gave Silas a flower and it actually had a little note written on it. It says, every day we share together, we're creating our own fairy tale. I look forward to our happily ever after. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh. And he is <laughs> so flirty after that. He has a moodlet that says, romantic generosity. Giving the perfect romantic gift can only mean romance for both parties involved. And Faye also has a flirty moodlet that that says feeling the love. Love is in the air and it's the romantic gift just received. So since they're both feeling flirty, I mean might as well <laughs> start their anniversary off right. Oh, this by the way, I was playtesting some things for this episode and I did have to change their bed so that they could woohoo. <laughs> And I'm not even going to feel bad about this. I am 100% cheating the weather today because I do not want rain on their anniversary. I want it to be perfect weather. And yeah, like I said, I don't even feel bad about that because if you could cheat the weather in real life, you know that you would do the same thing. <laughs> also, since I do have wonderful whims in my game, I actually don't need to necessarily do the try for baby interaction for Faye to get pregnant. As you can see up here, no protection was used so she can get pregnant from this at any time really. I might do the try for baby interaction, I might not, but I think for now on their anniversary I'm just going to see if it autonomously happens. And I think now is the perfect time for that Dude, French toast that baby. Silas made. <laughs> so we are actually going to go on a little lunch date today shortly after this which I am so excited about and to show you guys the restaurant and then oh my gosh pumpkin eating with them stop that is too cute and then like i said the finchwick fair is later on Hi, so we will Julia. stop by there see everyone and then come back home for a little romantic evening all right i'm not going to go crazy around the farm today since it is their anniversary i do want them to have a little more of a chill day but we will take care of the weeds and bugs really quick and then of course we do want to make sure all the animals are all set and yeah once they're done with these couple of chores we are going to head right on over to the restaurant to have a little date silas has also leveled up enough where he can evolve his plants and there are so many to do that to so I'm just gonna go through and evolve what I can. I am so excited for this garden to just be flourishing. All right and here is where they're having their anniversary date. This is Elsie's Barn Restaurant and it is actually right off the town square so later when the Finchwick Fair happens it'll actually start right here and after their lunch date they can just go on over and hang out with everyone. But yeah this restaurant is so so cute i did get this off of the gallery so if you would like to download it that of course will be on the screen and i'm gonna go ahead and actually give you guys a little tour i love this idea of having a converted barn restaurant i think it's so fitting for henford on bagley so when you first walk in it actually looks like harmony from last episode is the bartender here so there is a bar straight in the back and 
some tables around with these cute layered rugs. There is a jukebox over here and there is a lot of picture frames around which kind of gives it a little more of a eclectic feel. The kitchen is back in this corner and around the side of the lot is actually an outdoor seating area which is where Faye and Silas are going to have their little date. And how cute is this little canopy area with the lights and the plants hanging from it. I think it's so so well done. I also love in this build how there's like this little outdoor window to see right into the kitchen especially for the waiters and waitresses picking up food from right here. I think that that is so so cute and I feel like if takeout was a thing in the sims I would totally have my sims come here and order takeout through this window. Such a side note but dine out desperately needs a refresh if they ever do a pack refresh again. I really really hope it's dine out because I love having my sims go to restaurants but sometimes it's just not worth the headache. Hopefully today is not one of those times but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and have Silas request this table all the way in the corner because it's a little more private for them. How cute are they? Oh my gosh. All right, to drink. I feel like neither of them are big drinkers, but I'm actually going to get them the Bagley Berry Fizz just because I honestly don't think I've ever had a Sim order or make this before. And of course, it's named after Henford on Bagley, so we should try it. <laughs> and let's see, what should they have to eat? I think I might give them both the faux meat wellington because it is the chef's choice. Of course, in the prompt for this generation, they are meant to be almost the same person, so I feel like it's fitting that they order the same exact thing at the restaurant. Yeah. Uh, blue. Blue. Oh! my god you know what she's not the worst scene oh my god i don't know why they're singing right now but it's actually so cute and i'm actually going to cheat this to be complete because it didn't check off but faye did autonomously give silas a flower this morning and these two really have had a pretty crazy year between getting married being a young newlywed couple oh <laughs> Oh my gosh, so cute. Also, Faye, of course, losing her parents and inheriting this farm and this huge plot of farmland. Okay, their food came out so quick. I feel like we have the best of luck today. Oh my gosh, the cuties. All right, I think I spoke too soon on the luck because <laughs> Silas totally just left and went inside and Faye refuses to sit and eat, so... <laughs> Yeah, maybe we didn't get the best of luck, but honestly, I'm not complaining. At least we saw a couple cute moments. Honestly, I'm not even going to complain. <laughs> but they ate. They had their cute moments at the beginning, so I'm going to call it a win. <laughs> I'm just going to call it a win and leave it how it is because restaurants and The Sims are just so frustrating, like I said, but at least they did eat. So I'm going to go ahead and pay for the meal, and then we can actually head over to the Finchwick Fair, which I believe... Yeah, it's actually already started. All right, it looks like there aren't any entries yet. Oh, wait. So it looks like Sarah just entered her hen for the competition. And I did ask in the last episode which chicken you guys wanted me to enter, but I actually decided to not enter this competition today. They are going to have a lot of chances to enter and win the Finchwick Fair, but I did remember that you actually have to stay to the very end to find out who wins the competitions and I honestly just well, didn't want to me. stay that long yeah, on their anniversary hey. so yeah I decided we are not entering today's competitions but like I said we'll have oh, many no. more chances oh my gosh stop they're dancing together <laughs> no girl absolutely not <laughs> I mean at least they're both awkward dancers together, you know? <laughs> they're actually so cute. Like, uh, I love them. Oh my gosh. I have no idea 
who this is, but she is so pretty. Oh my gosh, wait, this is, oh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is Zachariah's mom from last episode. Let's introduce ourselves to her. And it says she's an elder, but she looks damn good, can I just say? <laughs> Oh, and it looks like they got good sentiments towards each other when meeting. Let's compliment her fair entry. I am not focusing too much on Miles in this episode, but I did get a lot of feedback on who he should be with in the last episode, and I think that Harmony is definitely out of the picture. I just didn't really feel it, especially watching it back. I kind of feel like Zachariah and Miles could have a little bit of an enemies to lover <laughs> storyline not that they're enemies or anything but i think that that could be kind of cute possibly but yeah i also think i might add some more people in my game for miles to meet and potentially date but yeah with that being said silas has to pee so bad and it is getting late so we are gonna head home all right so they are now back from their date and they're actually just hanging out in front of the fire in their living room setting a little romantic setting for them and I was actually thinking about it and I think that their one year anniversary is kind of the perfect time for them to start trying for a baby. I feel like like I mentioned before with all of the changes in their life this past year between getting married, losing face parents, inheriting the house and all of that stuff, I feel like they're finally now settled into their routine and their new life that they can actually start seriously talking about trying for a baby and I'm also so excited like I keep mentioning since the first episode I am so excited for them to become parents so I think that today would be a perfect time to start officially trying so we are going to do just that we are going to try for a pregnancy now I didn't have Faye take another fertility test of course like I said I do have wonderful whims in my game so just doing the try for pregnancy interaction won't necessarily make Faye pregnant but I'm just going to try it a few different times and whenever it happens it happens hopefully it's sooner than later but <laughs> we will see and pumpkins just outside running around the yard just giving them some space she knows what's up <laughs> All right, so it looks like they both completed everything for their wedding anniversary, which is so sweet. And I know we didn't do too much for it, but I think they had a really nice romantic day, a very low key, which is very on brand for them. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Faye is getting some leftover breakfast after that woohoo. <laughs> Such a mood. But yeah, I am so excited to find out if she's pregnant or not. I think I'm going to wait until the morning to have her take a pregnancy test and fingers crossed she's pregnant but yeah if not of course we will keep trying and talk about meant to be today now that it's Sunday the next day it's actually Mother's Day I love adding holidays like this into my calendar if you couldn't already tell so the things to do for Mother's Day are give flowers and have a thankful spirit which I think is so cute and just saying would kind of be the perfect day to to find out that Faye is pregnant. So yeah, hopefully that does happen. I also want to put some flowers by Faye's mom's grave because I think it would just be a sweet way to honor her mom on Mother's Day. All right, so it is officially Mother's Day and I'm gonna go ahead and get Faye up. And first things first, I'm going to have her take a pregnancy test because I honestly can't wait any longer. It hasn't even been that long, but... I am so excited to find out. Okay, let's see if she's pregnant. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh, wait, I think that means she's pregnant. <gasps> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh my god, <laughs> first thing she's doing is going out to pet Betty. <laughs> Oh my god, she's actually pregnant.
pregnant. I honestly didn't think it was gonna happen on the first time. I'm being so serious. I did not think she was gonna get pregnant. Oh my God, and she is showing already. How does that even happen? <laughs> what? Oh my God, I can't believe she's pregnant. Okay, we need to wake up Silas right now. Share big news. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, he's so happy. Oh my gosh. So Silas has a moodlet that says big news, ecstatic after hearing about a new family member. And Faye, of course, has her eating for two moodlet as well as a happy parents moodlet from telling Silas. It says Faye's partner was delighted to hear about the pregnancy, completely overjoyed. This child will bring them so much happiness. Faye is daydreaming about it already. I know it's dark in here, but we will finally be able to use their nursery, which I'm so excited about about there is going to be a little baby in here so soon <laughs> and you guys this is going to be the first heir of our lucid legacy challenge so of course you don't have to play this way but the way that i personally play legacy challenges are the first baby born for each generation is going to be the heir for the next generation so this baby that she is pregnant with will actually be the sim that we play generation two with which is so exciting Exciting. I can't believe that it's happening already. And before we really get our day started, I'm just going to have Faye come out here and, like I said, leave some flowers by her mother's grave in honor of Mother's Day. But yeah, I love that Faye found out she was pregnant on Mother's Day. I think that that is like such perfect timing. Also, how cute does Faye look pregnant? I mean, it's just so adorable. All right, so she did leave the flower on the ground in front of the graves, Mommy, Mommy. and I think that she is hungry. Let's go have some breakfast for the pregnant Faye, and we're going to have Silas take care of some things around the farm while Faye is eating and taking care of herself. We already harvested the plants for today, but we're gonna go ahead and take care of the animals and we have some very exciting plans for today which i am so excited to show you guys you guys pumpkin is going to be a big sister <laughs> i can't wait to see pumpkin interact with the baby once they age up to being a toddler i think that's gonna be the sweetest thing in the world oh my gosh you guys look <laughs> at pumpkin sleeping i cannot like are you kidding? She literally spends all day running around and then this is how she falls asleep. She is the absolute sweetest. Oh my gosh. All right. So now that we've gone ahead and taken care of the animals and the crops and everything, we are actually going to head out to the farmer's market. All right, you guys. So this is the farmer's market lot that I placed pretty close to Faye and Silas's house. Actually, it is in the same neighborhood but it is actually right next door to the Barnes family home which is right behind us but yeah I love this lot so so much it is set to a marketplace so they will be able to sell some of their goods here and I figured that this would be a really fun way for them to make money for this generation because they are meant to make money from their farm which of course we could always just sell the crops sell the wool sell the milk and all of that stuff but but I think it would be a lot more fun, especially for gameplay purposes, to actually have a place to sell these things and interact with people. As always, if you want to download this lot, the information will be on the screen. And let's go ahead and do a quick little tour before we set up. So when you first walk in, there's a little pond in the middle with some chess tables and there's benches around and things like that. Going to the left, there's a little vendor station with a coffee cart. I believe this is a summer food stall and a flower stall over here with Liam actually it was already here <laughs> with some picnic tables and things so we can hang out and eat. And then going down this path this whole lot is basically a big circle around this pond so there are a bunch of stalls with things already placed on them. There is a grocery stall over here which is actually right next to our stand. I actually 
actually, for the most part, cleaned off this stand besides a little bit of clutter around. And this is going to be the table that we set up our things at and sell. Right next to us, there is a table with some candles on it and some beeswax. There is a little bathroom stall over here. There's also this really cute area in the back that just has a fountain and a little bench over here with some really pretty flowers around. And then over on this side, there's just some more stalls as well as the garden stall. And this is the same one that is in town. A couple more cellar tables over here. And yeah, that is pretty much the whole lot. It's pretty open and simple, but I honestly love it so much. This is also going to be a perfect time for Faye and Silas to tell everyone that they're having a baby. So let's go ahead and set up their stand and start selling some things. I'm actually going to have Silas tend the table so that Faye can just kind of walk around, talk to people, do whatever she wants because she is pregnant and she should be able to do whatever she wants. All right, so I did have to move some things and it definitely doesn't look the prettiest, but this is Silas's table. He is selling some of Gertrude's wool, some of Maggie's milk, and of course some of the crops that he has grown. Also just how cute does Silas look? Like he's so proud of just the stuff that he's grown and of course Pumpkin is over here just helping out. <laughs> so yeah hopefully we get some buyers but in the meantime we're gonna go over and see what Faye is up to. So it looks like Liam is here. Oh and he's actually a vendor. I wonder which stall he's running but Zachariah is also here with with his mom. It looks like Leora is also here and she's actually at the toy stand which is really cute because she's probably buying some stuff for her kids which actually we might do as well before we leave buy a little toy for our upcoming baby and we're actually gonna go ahead and have Faye tell Leora that she's pregnant. Oh it looks like this is actually Leora's stand. She's selling some kids toys which is so cute as if it's not already obvious from her belly that grew overnight oh I love that they hug whenever they see each other oh my gosh oh. oh she's so excited let's share some mother's day spirit with leora all moms are incredible but let's be honest leora has so so many children i don't know how she does it so she deserves the best mother's day ever and let's see if we have sold anything yet we might have actually sold a milk but i can't really tell oh but pumpkin is over here making friends oh what a sweetie i can't and the pregnancy symptoms have started because Faye is needing to go to the bathroom even though she just went and she's already getting hungry even though she just ate i love how much fun pumpkin has at little like town events i feel like she has so much fun just running to everyone and hanging out oh my gosh stop Faye is coming over to blow silas a kiss that is so cute Oh my gosh! Pumpkin! Yikes, Pumpkin has been bitten by a squirrel. Squirrel bites may cause illness, so keep an eye on your furry friend. What is happening? I don't know if that's ever happened to me before, but I really hope she doesn't get sick. Oh my gosh. There are so many people hanging out around our table and no one's buying anything. That is so annoying. Oh my gosh. All right, before I forget, I am going to have Faye come over and I think we're going to get the pony toy because it does feel the most fitting. All right, so we got that toy. Oh my gosh. And Liam came over to flirt with Leora. That is so cute. Let's give Pumpkin some love. <laughs> Let's cheer her up because I feel so bad that she got bit by a squirrel. I can't believe that happened. Oh, the poor baby. 
Oh, and Faye has this really sweet moodlet that says, a new life within. Sometimes Faye is overwhelmed with delight at the feeling of her baby growing within. She can't wait for it to be born. And she is starting to get a little bit more hungry. So before we leave, I'm actually gonna have her order some food. Okay, and it looks like we sold some wool and a mushroom, and I still can't tell if we sold more milk, but at least we sold something, honestly. <laughs> all right, with all that, um, it is getting later in the day, so I'm thinking we should call it a night, head home, and like I said, they actually don't live far from here. If we zoom out a little bit, just over their bridge and up the hill is actually where their lot is. So I kind of love that they live so close to the farmer's market and I've been so excited to show you guys this lot So I'm so glad we finally got to come here and I don't know how often we'll come to the farmer's market But it would be cute if it was an every Sunday kind of thing So we'll see what happens, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of that in the comments But yeah, like I said, we are going to get home now all right, so we are back home and I am actually going to leave this episode off here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, like this video if you enjoyed, and go ahead and leave some baby name comments for me. I will say if it is a boy, I do know what I want to name him, but I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments. So yeah, definitely let me know and I hope you guys are excited as I am to have baby soon. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and supporting, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, my loves. Bye.